So, I don't know if you can tell by just listening to me talking or looking at my mouth when I talk, but I got Invisalign two, three days ago and I am now making it my whole personality. My mouth just looks like I either got lip injections on my top lip or it looks like I now have braces and I have a crazy lisp and it's all just like making me very emotional. So one thing I'm gonna do is take out my Invisalign because I'm talking, it's not, okay, you know what? It's Smile Direct Club, but no one, I'm not gonna be like, I'm taking out my Smile Direct Club. No, it's my Invisalign or my aligners, but I'm gonna take this out. Please don't look at me when I do this because it's actually like very like self-conscious of me right now. Okay, now that we can talk normally, oh my God, don't you hear the difference? Okay, so basically I've been wanting to make this video for about 20 years now, but I just got caught up because now I have a new job and it's been like two, almost three months at this new job. Every single time I try to film a video since my last one, I keep repeating like this whole speech I'm about to give you. Basically, every single time I try to make a YouTube video in the past two or three months, I'll like start making the video and then I'll get to the editing process or I'll get like halfway through filming the video and then I get like bored of it or I think that no one's gonna think it's interesting. So I stop and I haven't made a video in like 10 years, but here I am making a video. So this is just gonna be like a quick little chit chat, get ready with me because, oh my God, please don't look at this disgusting poopy drink that I'm drinking right now. If you watch HRH Collection, great, amazing. I adore you for that. If you don't, get on it now because she's like the best thing that you will ever witness in your entire life. Um, I have only been watching her since November of last year, but I have literally gone back and like binge watched every single one of her she calls them classes, not videos, so I like I love the vibe already. And I'm obsessed with all of her videos and all of her content. I mean, yeah, there are some things that she says that I don't agree with, but she's just so like authentic and real. Like she just says it how it is. And I honestly like love that as a person that I am watching on YouTube. Cause I like honestly did have a phase where I would watch like like Visco girls and just they would just go out and have like such a happy time or whatever and you can tell like when when you're watching youtubers that are like super fake you can tell ever since i started watching her i've kind of had this like awakening where i like am so much more aware now like i'm so much more like i don't i don't even know how to explain it this video is the first video i ever saw from her and it's basically i think it's like skinny starbucks I don't remember the full title of it, but that is the first video I've ever seen of her and it was like on Thanksgiving of last year and I was just like obsessed from the start. Here's this drink that she invented. It's cheap and it's skinny and it tastes good. So I've like absorbed, like I've not stopped drinking this drink since watching that video. I don't remember exactly how she makes it, but I do three shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup with one pump of mocha and whipped cream on top with a flat lid. And then I get a straw and then you just mix it. And it looks like this. What should I talk about first? Let's talk about why I'm getting ready. There's actually not a single reason why I'm getting ready. Anthony is coming to pick me up and we're going to go stay at his house um, overnight. And I just felt like doing my makeup because the only time really I ever put on makeup anymore is if I'm going to church or going into work. And I don't really do my makeup for myself anymore. I just put on the Bliss Bright Idea Vitamin C Moisturizer, hello. Like last month or something when I was getting my lashes done, like I was talking about how I have this skincare problem where I try so hard not to touch my pimples just because I know how bad that is. Um, but after they go away, after they're done, they this it like leaves a scar and like doesn't go away. Even if I haven't touched it, like there's still a scar. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see, but like here, None of these are like active pimples. These are all like scars. So they recommended using like a vitamin C product, I guess, on my face. So I've been using the Bliss one. I haven't really seen any changes in my acne scars. I like the smell of it and it is a very nice moisturizer as it is, so I don't mind. Once I moisturize, I'm gonna do, normally I would put on a concealer. It's like a, hyaluronic tinted serum by l'oreal i saw someone use this in a tiktok get ready with me like yesterday and i bought it today because that's how easily persuaded i am i don't really know how much to use but the girl i saw use it in her video um was very like generous with it i guess so i'm just gonna put that and just see how much coverage it actually gives me Maybe this is like a really good skin tint well first thing i'm noticing 
is that it is covering blemishes really good. It's covering redness of blemishes really nicely. Okay, well that's interesting. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's shedding off of my face. That's fine. Sure. Sure. I mean, it worked pretty well. Just a breast powder, it's nothing special. I don't think, do I look okay? I feel like I look off. I'm gonna do bronzer now with the NYX matte bronzer. Um, what can I talk about? Oh yeah. Guys, I literally, this new job that I started at, I don't think I mentioned, I honestly don't remember if I mentioned it in my very last video I uploaded, but if you know me pretty well, you know I started a new job. Um, it's customer support again. I know I had like kind of bad experience working um, in customer service before because my last job was Chick-fil-A. Um, but this is like kind of a different environment just because you're not actually face to face with the customers So I feel like it kind of helps my anxiety just a little bit. I work as a customer support agent and basically I answer emails, I answer phone calls and I also do like chats with customers um, Who just need help? So it's pretty cool. The benefits are freaking amazing um, it's the job that Anthony started working at in January and he referred me and it's going pretty well so far. Is my boyfriend here or not? What else can we talk about? Well, this is a Kybrow pencil. I just started using this as well like a couple weeks ago and it works okay. I found that what works best for my eyebrows is a very fine point like eyebrow pencil or eyebrow pen because Everything else just looks too sloppy if I'm not able to like fully control what I'm doing. I don't know, just shut up. This is not sponsored. Anyways, I'm just gonna talk about it. I wanted to get like a liner is really bad for my teeth. My teeth honestly like aren't super bad. Like, okay, that's all you get to see. My teeth are not super bad. They didn't really bother me before. All I know is I just have really bad crowding on my bottom teeth. Um, they're all kind of like pushed together in the front and then on top my front two teeth are completely fine it's this tooth right here that kind of goes behind one of my front i don't know how to explain it it kind of goes like behind, instead of like being like this tooth see how this one is like the sun is like behind i almost just put this on my lips you guys are shocking me oh my god it wasn't really like a concern like i wasn't really like crying myself to sleep every day because of my teeth and then every time i would go to the dentist they would always be like well you you're the perfect candidate for invisalign you should definitely get i was like hello is that supposed to be a compliment you're the perfect candidate for needing to fix your teeth that's not a compliment i ordered it and then it came in the mail and they basically send you like the things to like do the impressions in your mouth so it was like really gross but like at least i didn't have to go to a dentist and have someone like get mad at me for taking my time Cause it like, it like actually hurts. Like I was like drool, I'm not gonna talk about it. Like, my teeth are aching, aching, like so bad. And now it kind of makes sense to me. Cause I'm like, okay, well this tooth right here needs to like come out from behind and like be its own tooth now. And like my teeth down here need to like separate, like separate more. And so like now like the back of my teeth, like my molars are like aching so bad from like the movement that's going on in the front of my mouth. Sorry if this is like disgusting and like probably no one wants to know about it. Um, this is the Benetton like blush. Oh, we can talk about Harry. Harry Styles, that man. Man of the hour. Um, Harry released his third album last night. Yeah, no, I liked it. There were some songs that I definitely like vibed with i feel like there were some songs that kind of like didn't really go anywhere lyrically i'll personally love that man and give him all my money any day of the week i was just kind of like i don't know maybe it just needs like a couple more listens i think as it was was like a really good like lead single for the album he's obviously like telling a story in like every single song that he's singing in this album um so i feel like any any song would kind of work as the next single I personally am a little disappointed in the studio version of Late Night Talking just because the TikTok audio of him performing it at Coachella sounded so like hype and like high energy and like I don't know if that's just because he was performing or what but like I thought the studio version was going to be like a lot more like energetic. I will say that when I listened to the first track on the album, Music for a Sushi Restaurant, I was getting very much like Old Navy commercial vibes, but the second time listening to it earlier, I kind of understood the hype. It's like very much like 
Okay, this is the REM lip plumping gloss. When this gets inside your mouth, it, it, it's, it's game over. The second time I listened to that song, I was like, I was kind of like, okay, this is like a good like album starter. Like you can tell like what this album is gonna sound like. You can tell like what this album is gonna be about. It's very like disco-y, very like funky vibes. Like I was getting like major like 70s kind of like vibe from this album. Okay, also this is the NYX lip pencil in New Truffle. This is my go-to. I think that's all I pretty much wanted to like talk about. If you have literally any recommendations for any videos I should do or any videos you want to see me do in the future, please let me know. Please comment down below or DM me anything because I do need ideas like crazy so I can start getting my behind back on YouTube. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Okay. Thank you.